Good morning, y'all. Getting ready to head to the gym. As you can see, Merle is ready to go. He knows I'm about to go outside and he can't stand waiting on me. But I started thinking that I don't really post any of my fitness or workout stuff on YouTube like I do on my Hannah Baron Fitness Instagram and YouTube pages. So I figured I would throw a few clips on here and talk about them since YouTube hadn't seen any of that side. And if I got any girls out here, this is how I built my little bit of muscle. It helped me with a lot of hip issues. My hips don't hurt anymore like they used to all the time. I had hereditarily weak hips and building muscles around those hips to help hold them in place has been my saving grace. I put on about 20 pounds, mostly of muscle, probably some of table muscle too, but we're not gonna talk about that. Since I started working out in 2016, there was a lot of learning curves for me because I never really had anybody helping me much. I learned most of my stuff off videos like this. So if I can help anybody, I'm all for it. First thing in this video is the banded box squats. Um, I do box squats because they're easier on my knees, in my personal opinion. Um, if I do regular squats, I wear knee sleeves. Yeah, the band just puts more tensions on your glutes. In my opinion, do you do what feels right for you? You start at a low, low weight, probably just the bar or no weight at all until you get the form right because form is everything. And then you progressively overload and go up on weight as you can because that is how you build the muscle. Ain't that right, Merle? So I've been doing box squats and squats in general for years. Um, I used to do a lot more weight, but I dropped weight and started focusing on form and actually mind to muscle connection and feeling the muscles that I wanted to target, slowing down everything and getting my form right. Now I always start and warm up with just the bar and then move to 135 and then add a 10 on each side to 155. And then in the last clip, you can see it was 175 because I added another 10 for that, or another, another 10 on each side for that set. So the progressive overload, but I'm going slow and I'm taking care of my body and making sure everything is good. As you can see in the video, my shirt is a We The People, which is actually a holster company. And they make some really cool holsters. This one is in Real Tree Edge, which is one of my favorite camo patterns. So having that in the holster is awesome. And it is made specifically to fit my Kimber Micro 9. So it fits in there perfect. If YouTube wasn't so picky about pew pews, I would show it. <laughs> but it is one of my favorites. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or even TikTok, you've seen me using a lot of their products. So during this holiday season, they have given me the code HANNAH25 so that y'all can use that for 25% off. All we the people holster purchases. Hope that helps. These are Bulgarian split squats and they are brutal. 
You can do them with a dumbbell like I was doing, holding it in one hand. If you want to, you can hold one in both hands. Um, you can use a barbell and put it on your shoulders. Anything, and the same with anything else. If you're new to it, I would start with no weight, get your form right, get used to the movements, and then move up from there as you feel comfortable. But you still want that progressive overload. And I usually always do some form of lunge or split squat or one of those kind of movements. Next, I will show y'all a curtsy lunge. Those are curtsy lunges. They're always brutal. Um, that one's important to get your form right. It takes a while to kind of get that lunge down. You can start with doing walking lunges, which is how I started, or with just backward lunges, whatever they're called. But I always try to incorporate some form of lunge or those split squats. So next is hip thrusters. I love doing these, whether it's a hip thruster or a glute bridge or some kind of variation. These are probably my favorite ever for glutes. Can feel these in your butt even when you add a lot of weight. It's, they're, they're the best. They're the best for your glutes, period. So here are those. These are probably sloppy because he didn't film until it was my last set and I was tired, but yeah. With these, you want to keep your chin tucked and your back straight. Um, watching these videos myself has shown me how much I need to work on my own form, which was probably a lot better about three sets ago, but that's no excuse. Keeping your chin tucked and your back straight takes the pressure off of your lower back and puts it all in your legs. The position of your feet also determine what muscles you're targeting. Uh, mine are uneven here, which if I would have noticed, I would have corrected it, but I didn't. Also, the bands add more tension to the glutes, most of the side glutes, because I was pushing my knees out and adding that extra tension. And right there, I'm adding the weight and reps to my Garmin watch. Next are RDLs, and I will end with this exercise, this clip. Um, these are also great for glutes. Most of these workouts have been hamstring and glute focused squats are more you know quad dominant and all this stuff but these are just some of the things i do when i go to the gym just figured i would share with y'all ending on this clip it's not the best because i got distracted and i started talking mm -hmm. but y'all get the idea merle i don't know what noise that was but hope y'all have a good one appreciate y'all I talked to your brother on the phone on the way here.